September 1774, Philadelphia. Representatives from 12 of the 13 American colonies gather in secret at Carpenter's Hall. Their mission, to discuss a united response to British oppression. This is the First Continental Congress, a moment that marked the colony's first major step toward independence. In response to the intolerable acts imposed by Britain, colonial leaders decided it was time to stand together and make their voices heard. 56 delegates from 12 colonies attended the Congress, representing a diverse range of colonies, each with its own concerns and interests. They included prominent figures such as George Washington, Patrick Henry, and John Adams, who would soon become pivotal in the fight for independence. The Congress was not a declaration of war, but a united call for justice. The delegates drafted the Declaration and Resolves, a document that asserted colonial rights and outlined grievances against British policies. They also agreed to form a Continental Association, organizing a colony-wide boycott of British goods, a bold move that showed the strength of their unity. The First Continental Congress was a crucial step toward independence. For the first time, the colonies were acting as a united body, putting aside individual differences to stand against injustice. This Congress laid the groundwork for future cooperation, setting the stage for what would become the United States. The First Continental Congress was not just a meeting. It was the birth of a united American voice. The delegates returned to their colonies, preparing for the possibility of a more direct conflict with Britain. The echoes of their actions in 1774 set the foundation for the fight for liberty that was soon to come. Join us in our next episode as we explore life in the American colonies and the daily struggles that fueled the desire for independence.